so we're re repurposing a old workbench from my wife's dad's basement and uh, what we did was we took this table right here and we uh, cut it oops and we cut it in half okay I cut these legs off so these were the legs that were on each corner and he had them notched because these two by fours right here they went all the way around it so what I did was cut them off and uh, I took and added these caps metal caps here and then I screwed into the metal caps with these uh, like lag screws and that's the screw I use to uh, screw in the steel plates and the wheels on the ends of the 4x4s. Two inch long. And they're locking wheels so the table doesn't roll around. And then so far I've got one piece of frame back up and I'm planning on putting a board all the way across to the other side. Now I did cut these legs off with a uh, sawzall, just in case you were wondering what I cut them off with. Cut them down, I scribed a line on there with a pencil, cut them down so they were cut square, and then filed down whatever mistake there was. The bracket here was uh, two of them for four bucks, at Home Depot. The wheels were, uh, I think, $9 a piece at uh, Crazy Benzies or somewhere. And the anchor screws were uh, $2.50 a four pack or $2.50 a six pack, I think. So this is pretty simple. I'm just installing this corner brace to hold the wood up. I didn't want to drill from the end there. So I got a couple holes already marked. I'm going to take and uh, Hold the bracket up, put the line up my hole. Got the one in there. Check my line up, check my height. Then finish screwing them in. Okay, so I had enough plywood to cut these down, put them on the outside, instead of having to make another uh, hook there going around, and put another one just like it on the other side. I got two two by fours, about eight feet long left. I'm gonna measure just one in the middle, strictly for aesthetic purposes and for holding up the legs, I mean, aesthetic because this is really the only place it looks good. If I put it around the outside it'd be near this drawer it would just wouldn't look good. So I'm gonna measure this at about five foot five and three eighths and then I'll cut it and I'll install it across there. Okay here's the back of the table. Uh, it, it was used from salvaged wood I don't know how long ago old growth pine as they say if there's such a thing and uh, here's one right here it was, these are all the two by fours and then uh, this is where the kids had a vice or her dad had a vice and the kids used to use this vice and uh, a lot of kids stuff they might even remember making those scratches and this is the front of it and this is the drawer right there probably it's going to need a new bottom but We'll go with it. And then, uh, of course, here's the handle it came with. And we're going to put that right back on there. You could probably make uh, one of these pretty simple 2x6s, 2x4s. Even the drawer slides were made out of 2x4s uh, notched. So the top rib is, looks like a piece of half inch or 3 8 trim board that he attached to the drawer he built. And uh, it's uh, pretty slick.
you got yourself a $500 West Elm table. Oh, did I say West Elm, the brand out loud? Okay, and here it is uh, completed. It's got the uh, the wheels and the brace now is in the middle where I screwed it in, cut it to size. That's the back of the drawer. And this is a, a little steel plate that uh, my wife's father had his name stamped on and so we put it on there. And uh, if you look around the side there, more uh, salvage stuff. These were end caps I showed you that I put on for 4x4s. Four and there's the handle it came with. And if you look on the uh, sides here, those are the two screws that I had go through there right there and uh, I'll show you what they look like and there's the screw I used for the side here um, it's pretty long you could probably buy it um, it's really long got a flat top Phillips head <laughs> and uh, the table is completed and my wife sanded it down about like, uh, I don't know, eight, nine, ten coats and kept recoating the top of this. And she recoated the sides with uh, water lock. And that's what it looks like. So those salvage words just happened to be underneath there when we started sanding the table and they started appearing so my wife sanded them real lightly and tried to get them to come out more and uh, there it is. So that's the table and uh, that's how it looks. Uh, all completed workbench converted into coffee table thanks for watching <laughs>